Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to weave your tails in when you have finished a project. When you've spent all the time and energy getting something wonderful knit, you don't want to cut corners when it's time for the finishing. So one of my pet peeves is weaving in tails, so I would like to show you how I would like for you to do it. All right, what I have here is a swatch of fabric that I've done in a garter stitch, and I'm using a contrasting uh, green yarn so you can see what I'm doing. I'm also using a tapestry needle that has a bent tip, which is what I highly recommend. So that's what we sell here at the shop. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in, you're, you'll probably be on the edge, so maybe I should start on the edge here. And you're going to go at an angle. I never want you to go straight in a line like that because that will pull out the easiest. So I want you to go in at an angle and pull your yarn through. And then I want you to, the very next one, you're going to follow the yarn that you knit the swatch with and come down. Okay. Now I think you'll be able to see how it's going to come together. You're following this yarn and I'm going to go right back into the same stitch I was in before that. And so I've made this little Yui here. And we'll do it we'll do it one more time. And so I'm repeating myself and coming right back into the same stitch that I was in initially. Okay. So we're just going to continue following the white yarn and when I come in I immediately make a left and head up whoops get my tail here the important thing I want you to see is when you look at it from the front you don't see any evidence that you have woven your tails in so and I've done it with a whole other color and you'll be working with obviously the yarn you're knitting with So we're continuing, and I have a sewing background, so that's one of the reasons that I like to help people with their finishing. I think it's important for you to take the time, you spent time, energy, and money on your supplies, and if you cut corners at the end, um, it could end up looking homemade instead of handmade. Handmade, is, I think, is an artisan piece of craftsmanship. and. Um, you don't want it to look like you threw it together, or if you're not happy with it, um, you're not going to wear it, or you're not going to be able to com feel comfortable giving it. So I want you to wear it with confidence and give it with confidence. All right. What you can see here is I'm trying to keep the same tension as my knitting. So when I come through here, I am not going to do, I do not want you to do this and pull it too tight. I want you to try to maintain the same tension as you're knitting. That was a too tight one, and now I'm going to show you what will happen if you do it too loose. If it's too loose, it's not going to be uniform. You are mimicking the stitches you've already knit, and so you're doing a mirror image, no, not a mirror image, but you're mimicking them. You're following the line of, of what you knit initially. So you want to try to keep the same even tension that you kept during the entire knitting process. Okay, so we're coming up on the end, and one thing that I want you to think about, you're going to go, you're going to go a couple of inches, I will always recommend, and when you're finished and you're ready to cut, do not cut really tight. Don't cut flush, because it'll pop through the other side, so I like for you to leave about a quarter inch, and then if you want to use Fray Check, um, you can, that's a product that will seal those together, otherwise we can cut this one and when you look at the front it's like it's never there but if I push through you can see that but you'll never see it on yours because you'll be using the same color yarn hi I'm Phyllis McGowan the owner of Knit and Pearl in beautiful Myrtle Beach South Carolina our goal is to assist you in becoming a better more informed knitter and we strive to provide you with the products and services that you will need to perfect your craft Please come to our shop and visit us, get to know us better, and to learn from our knowledgeable, friendly staff. Be sure to visit our website at knitandpearl.biz and learn more about our shop and also learn about our e-store where, where you can shop 24 hours a day. Thanks for visiting.